uh, number five, Simple Note, uh, which just had an update uh, two or three weeks ago. It makes it awesome. It is the best note-taking app. It is free. You can uh, upgrade your account to get rid of ads and maybe a few other features. Uh, tag your notes. It's beautiful. Um, search your notes. Email your notes. Um, sync your notes to the web and through other things. Um, I would love them to death if they add Dropbox support, but other than that, it really is the best. Um, I don't have anything to trash. All notes. It basically works a little bit like if you're familiar with Gmail's inbox system. That's kind of how tags and filters work. But it, like the name of the app suggests, dirt simple. It works exactly how a note-taking app should work. Um, it is better than the notes app by far. Hmm. Uh, I think uh, number four is Dropbox. Um, this is going on. I mean, it's already the service itself is awesome. If you're not familiar with it, I can't explain it at all. Folder that attaches to Just, all your you can computers. store everything, all your files in the cloud, and then grab them from anywhere. And maybe the best part, you can get a link so you can just email yeah. it to somebody, and they can grab it from your Dropbox. Which yeah, is, the first two solves so many problems. The first two gigabytes are free. Yes. Um, they just recently, a few months ago, opened their API. Uh, which is what allows 1Password to do that syncing across iOS devices. But one um, key thing, uh, this is almost on promise, in that apps like Simple Note, would be, you'll be able to actually edit your things, notes on the fly. Um, Dropbox, get it. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Number three, someone already talked about it, Netflix. Uh, I've said it before, my most I live in the future moment ever with the iPad was at my mom's place on shoddy Wi-Fi. Uh, no other computers whatsoever, was reading blogs, so I blog post on the movie In the Mood for Love. I uh, hadn't ever heard of it. Uh, searched it on Netflix. It's it was available film. on Instant Film instantly within a 20-second period of finding out a film existed and watching the movie comfortably in my childhood bunk bed. It was this weird, weird feeling. It was awesome, amazing. Loved the film. Uh, Wong, Wong Kar Wai. He's, he knows what he's doing. Uh, he does. Uh, shall we? Do you want to go into more? No, a little short. We time? Uh, if we had time, I would talk at I, length about the genius of one. Uh, number two, do? already uh, discussed, but the Twitter app. Number two. Number two. Number two. And it's been out for twenty-four hours. Well, I've been waiting for it forever. <laughs> I've been a giant fan of Lauren Brichter. Brichter. There's an Brichter. R in there that I yes. left out before. Um, he gets um, Coco, and he gets just um, uh, how to use Objective C and Coco within. Um, iPad and iPhones better than anyone else. Uh, I'm still playing around with it, like that gesture I just discovered. Lots of fun things. Get lists in there, um, and I'm on Twitter often enough that it's that essential. And number one, Instapaper. Instapaper uh, Insta number Paper one. Instapaper is requirement. Um, if for anyone, especially, if, especially, 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 especially for Wi-Fi iPad owners, um, as opposed to the 3G. Um, on any computer, on your phone, on anything, just add all articles you would ever want to read, and the second you, before you leave a house or leave a Wi-Fi connection, run it, let it run for a minute, it will download everything in extremely nice, readable format. It works exactly like you would expect. You can turn pagination off and turn it into scrolling. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, it makes things super easy to read. Uh, it's free. It's, uh, or I guess, excuse me, the service is free. The uh, app itself, I believe, is four or five dollars. Totally worth it. It is always on my home screen on all of my iOS devices. So number one, Instapaper. Instapaper. Wow, fascinating. 